What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. My name is Hydro and this is Hydro High Views. Today is a very special episode. It's episode 19 and we're going to be reviewing a uh, product from San Rafael 71, one of my favorite brands of flour that I've tried. Today I am opening Pandora's box and what I mean by that is I'm going to try live resin for the first time. Let's dab it up. Roll intro. So good to have you back for another video. Today, we're doing it. We're trying live resin. We're trying concentrates. Screw it. Let's do it. Today's my first one that I'm gonna be trying. It's gonna be San Rafael 71. We're gonna be trying their OG Chem Dog. This is a live resin. I'm so excited. I have no idea how this is gonna be. I'm kind of nervous as well, but uh, here we are. Thank you for tuning in. So um, this is the first time here. I review strains of cannabis, uh, mainly flour. I've done 510, some edibles, and some accessories and products to uh, consume cannabis. Uh, today I decided that I'm gonna try live resin, which is a type of concentrate of cannabis. Uh, one of the reasons why I was kind of hesitant, it is way stronger than regular flour. You're looking at a high concentration of the flour. So, flower percentages of THC or like the range you're gonna be looking at from like 10% up to maybe 30% uh, usually I'll smoke between 15 and like 25 unless I can get a hold of something closer to 30 but those are harder to find and they're way more expensive in flower form um, and also I kind of wanted to try different products like I try I like to try 510 vapes and maybe edibles or oils in the sense of giving my throat a break from smoking. Also, I like vaping instead. Um, and it's winter now, it's getting colder. So like smoking dupes gets more of uh, annoying and it hurts. Winter's pretty tough here in Toronto. So that said though, with the concentrates, it's another form of high concentrate THC, which will be a uh, way more intense uh, high. But also, it's I'm trying to see because it is way more expensive to buy live resin, and the amount you get it's obviously smaller. Then again, because it's highly concentrated, I wouldn't need as much to get high, and if anything, it should last longer. I just want to test too with this little bit because I want to see how I function in it. Because on flour, I'm able to smoke and still be able to do stuff. If I'm not sure with dabs, it's gonna be way too intense. Then I'm gonna be like, oh. That's it, I am trying a sativa one. So it's nine o'clock PM. Should probably, I, I was gonna do this earlier, but then I got to do the B-roll, take photos and stuff. And next thing I know, it's nine o'clock. Um, okay, so that said, we are gonna be testing this out with the yolk hen. So usually for concentrates, a lot of people have the rigs, looks like a bong is a glass rig. Then you have to get a torch and then heat it up and you dump the thing. And, it looked like too much of an effort and that's one of the reasons I didn't want to try live resin or any type of concentrate. But then uh, one of my previous works at a dispensary, I saw we were selling these. They're super affordable, it's only like $30 Canadian. I think I got it for like 20 bucks, it was on sale. And what this is, is a concentrate um, vaporizer for wax or whatever vaporizer pen. So it comes with this little coil uh, container thing. It has two quartz, glass, quartz, whatever, glass, whatever it is, quartz made, quartz made uh, two coils in there. And there's a little bit of the resin in there already. I'll show you some B-roll with close-ups of it. I'm gonna put the little dab cap. And then we got our mouthpiece. And that's it. We're gonna turn this on and we are gonna try live resin for the first time. Sorry, it took me five minutes to get this out. Before that though, sorry. <laughs> what is live resin? 
So liposin is a highly concentrated form of cannabis. And what they do is, this is the result of flash freezing a beloved sativa strain. So what they do is they grab the, uh, the liposin as a result of extracting fresh flour and collecting and preserving all of its amazing terpenes and tossing the rest. This very chill method of extraction results in a strong and sticky resin that has some of the best flavor and aroma of any concentrates out there and it produces a very potent high that can last for hours. So next time you bust out live resin, bust out a live album and get ready to live in, liven the party, liven up the party. Anyways, so that's just a description from their website. Um, there is different types of uh, concentrates. So there's live resin, there's live, there's rosin, then there is shatter, and then there's like, I believe, keef and hash, but those are a little different. This one, so they flash freeze the, the, um, the bud, and then extracting the sticky wax. And that's what we're gonna be smoking today. It's actually, yeah, so it's like the sticky wax. The shatter is actually like a glass. Um, I gotta, I'll do a video kind of describing all the differences between all of them and all that. Uh, okay, so I think I talked enough. I keep putting it off. Let's just do it. I am going to be doing a full review of the Yo Can, so stay tuned for that. Next video is going to be actually, I'm going to be trying to shatter for the first time. Um, might as well do back to back with the concentrates so I can give a little bit of difference between live resin and this. Um, this OG Chem Dog live resin is a sativa and it's coming in at 69% THC. And it was packaged in September, uh, October? No. August, sorry. So it's packaged this summer. This is probably from the first batch they released. Uh, little Yo Can comes with a little cute little pick. I have some of the resin stuck in there. I gotta figure out how to get it in here. And yeah, all right. So. That's enough talking. To turn on the yo can, we're just gonna press five times. That will turn it on. I'm not sure if I should do the 10 second preheat. Uh, I've heard some people doing it, some people don't. Because this is my first time, I'm just gonna go on the lowest temperature, which is number one in, on this, has three temperatures, and take small couple dabs. Oh, sorry, I think I need to. <clears throat> Get ready for this. Whew. I know, it might not even be as intense as I think, but maybe it is, we'll see. All right, let's go. So, one, two, three, four, five. It's on, and temperature, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Five minutes later. So temperature one, and it should be ready to go. So I'm just gonna press and take a dab. Here we go. Doesn't feel as strong. Well, I'm not doing big clouds right now. But feels similar to doing a vape of a 510 in that sense. Taste wise, whew. now I see what they're saying about good taste. Really, really nice. Very subtle, not like that nasty, like weed, like the nasty weed taste. It's just, this was very nice. Like whatever terpenes are in the, in the strain, it translates really well. Um, curious to see. I bet this gets pretty hot, right? I would assume. Okay, yeah, it's not that hot right now. Oh, no, I don't want to get the whole coil out. So I just want to look 
in here to see what happened to... Oh, is that it? So I guess some of it is still melted in there. I'm just curious to see what happens. So yeah, it just melts down and then I guess the coils just... Yeah. This is the thing that I'm not sure. How much do you need to get high? So you saw how much I put in there. I did only a couple clouds. I definitely feel it. Um, so I'm just gonna continue doing the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three. Five minutes later. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe let's try it on temperature number two to kill whatever it's in, left in there. Now it kind of tastes like it's almost done. Hmm. Well, that's dabbing, I guess. Well, in a form like this. I find this to be really, really awesome because it's very easy to use. It's not messy. I can get used to this. Okay, so pretty much I think the wax is pretty much gone, whatever I put in there. Um, I definitely feel high. It went straight to my brain, so this is definitely a sativa strain, uh, very cerebral. It is intense considering like this is the effect that I would feel after smoking a whole dube. And it's like this wasn't even that much. Alright, so now I see why people do this stuff. Definitely enjoyable, um, very cerebral like I said. So this is something that I wouldn't say I would do and try to work. This would be maybe something that I would do and try to do creative stuff or watch a movie, play some music maybe. Um, definitely for like a party, listen to some music would be definitely awesome. I think I'm gonna try this tomorrow and do some like bass playing or uh, practice some guitar or something. Uh, definitely feel this euphoria and kind of like uplifting effect from the sativa uh, so based on the strain this is really really good i like this this will be kind of like a i think if you do like a little cloud right like a little dab like a nice quick micro dose in the morning like fuck, you don't need a coffee or anything just do this and then you're like going all right well i am going to continue trying this for the next few days so i will see you guys in a few days and let you know how i like dabbing see you guys in a few days hey everyone welcome back so it's been probably i think three to four days since i started using the og chem dog I'm quite impressed with the concentrate. I wasn't sure how it was gonna be. I didn't, I thought it was gonna be too intense that I wasn't gonna enjoy it because I was just gonna be too stoned out of my mind and I wasn't gonna be productive. That's one of the reasons I didn't wanna try this. Now that I did, totally different perspective on it. I actually really love this vape pen, the, the Yokan, and I really love this live resin. It's uh very focused, very good tasting sativa. I enjoy the high. It, I didn't find it as intense, like on my throat. Like I was almost microdosing with it. I did the, I did do a few sessions that I was like pretty stoned, but I was kind of using it as my daily driver during the day to see how I would be productive. And to be honest, I'm like I said, quite impressed with it. Um, the high is really, really nice, very focused, very clean. Um, the amount of time that I save by not having to roll. Um, I can see it, it can get a little messy eventually with this. Uh, but like so far, 
just using pretty much almost done with this one gram. I just have like a little left in there and I just packed it. Um, so considering that, like it actually lasted way longer. Um, not bad that one gram and I haven't cleaned the oven yet. Uh, it's still good. So once I finish this one gram, I'll, I'll give the, the oven or the little quartz coil uh, a little clean. Um, for taste and just to get the unit clean, but Yeah, like I actually enjoyed doing this one gram of live resin more than just smoking dupes Like I said for convenience, especially right now. It's winter uh, But the taste the high Just the fact that I only got to grab a little bit of this resin put it in here and then I'm good to go Not that I, I do enjoy rolling joints and stuff, but I'm, I'm just happy to give my throat a bit of a break from the smoke and yeah, so all I have to say is really good, um, really, really, really good product, really good experience. Just awesome, dude. Like, I'm definitely going to pick up this again uh, and kind of just, yeah, do another kind of like daily driver during the day using it at micro dosing. I just, I found it perfect for me. Uh, that said, this might be a little intense for some people. And if... You gotta make sure that you know how you react with sativas. Like I said, this is a highly concentrated. So actually um, my step dad, yeah, he smokes and he tried it and it made, it made him so hyper and just like talking more than usual. So I know it does have a very up effect on so sativa. That said though, one curious thing that I found with cannabis or, or at least with this strain is like, this right now, like I have it, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm in a good mood. So I'm my energy is kind of kind of high right now. Once I smoke this, it's just gonna get elevated. That said, yesterday I was feeling really tired, so even though I was hitting this, my energy wasn't like I was in hyper and like this because it all depends on the environment too and the people that you're around. So if the energy around you is kind of calm, this necessarily won't make you as intense. I think it kind of goes with the type of energy that you have at that moment. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a tangent in another direction, but I think it, it's good to know that, yeah, certain strains and the way you're feeling that day would affect how you the, the cannabis affects your brain. Um, anyways, I think this uh, review is getting long enough. I'm definitely happy that I opened this box and I'm trying live uh, concentrates now. So first time with concentrates live resin really good experience definitely gonna try it again summer file good job i'm um, excited to try other live wax or live resins and waxes from other producers but definitely San Rafael is gonna be one that is gonna be in stock uh, for my sativa uh, needs okay uh here to finish this off because i'm not high right now we gotta change that let's hit a little bit of this live resin live and give you my last really really last thoughts and we'll go from there One, two three four five i'm gonna do a review of the yo can as well so this is a vape pen and it just has a little dual quartz coil here you put in your wax in there when you press it melts it and you vape it so here we go last time trying it so this is my first week trying live resin and I'm so happy I started doing it. So, and now you're gonna see from me just waking up from a nap, this is kind of like my usual energy to, let's see how this affects me. Um, let's do one, two, three. We're gonna do temperature two. I found temperature one, kind of like on a 510. It's really good for, I think it's three volts. It's really good for flavor to get the flavor profile of the strain. Not as many clouds and not as strong of a high I found. Temperature two, which I believe is 3.5 uh, volts. Perfect for most clouds. Good balance of uh, the heat for taste and the high. Uh, number three, I haven't touched as much. I think it's a little too hot and it just ends up kind of burning the, the wax or the live resin. That said, it'd probably be different with different strains, different types like shatter or uh, rosin. Um, I'm gonna be testing shatter next on this. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this live resin, give the coil a nice clean. 
and then we'll go from there. Uh, so that's coming up and the review of the Yoken. So okay, so let's finish this by hitting San Rafael's Live Resin. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning, this is a 69.4 THC percent. This is a Tiva and it's OG Chem Dog. Here we go. Here and melting. So I like to press, keeps the coils going. Then I let go and just get the last vapor out of it. Inhale, then let it go. So compared to a dupe, I found this not to be as intense sometimes. I thought this was gonna be super intense in my throat. The first time I did it, it felt a little intense, but not as bad. Like I've had five, 10 vapes that are harsher on my throat. So this is actually really nice to taste. I can get over how nice it tastes. Um, yeah, like the high, I found it the onset to be really quick. Um, I'd say within just a few minutes, kind of like a joint, but a little faster. And I don't know, it's really good shit. Also, if you see, like twisting it as I'm smoking. So the live resin just kind of moves around the coils. <clears throat> Whew. All right, I'm good. And this is what I mean. Being a live resin and being a high concentrate cannabis product, you don't need that much to get to the dose that you might want. So like those two hits, that's all I need right now. And I'll be good for a few hours. And now I feel that like high coming into my brain. Now this is like turning on. Now I feel the focus. I get the goosebumps. I'm ready to fucking go. Film more videos. And I'm ready for you to hit the button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you like this video, comment, have you tried live resin? Have you tried concentrates? You don't want to, are you scared like I was before? But now I'm like, so happy I did. Let me know. Follow me on Instagram so you can see the photos that I took of this product. I need to get a macro lens though. I realize ASAP soon. Uh, yeah, Instagram, Hydro High Views. Uh, that's it. Oh, podcast coming soon as well one related to cannabis and i'm gonna have more guests on my main podcast if you guys want to check that out too at hyra lopez my instagram all the stuff in the links thank you so much for watching that's all i got i'm gonna go do stuff get a little more eye live resin do it up peace